For the hundreds of Indigenous people and non-Indigenous supporters who gathered in downtown Montreal October 9th for the First Nations Count demonstration, it was a chance to have their voices heard. Many bust in from as far away as northern Quebec to have their say. Well, it's to bring a message to the government that uh, Natives count um, and that we're important in this year's election and it's to pass a message on for all uh, Native people to vote that it counts. We need to vote. The demonstration began in Cabot Square and continued down St. Catherine Street. It was organized by the Assembly of First Nations of Quebec and Labrador. More than 25 chiefs from Quebec and Ontario came to speak and demonstrate. Grand Chief Joe Norton from Ganawage, which is across the river from Montreal, says he was happy with the turnout despite the short notice. It's a good feeling that people care enough to want to be able to do something. They want to demonstrate, they want to show that they count. And that's the, I guess the team is First Nations count too, you know. And it's not just a question of Canadians uh, and Canadian issues, it's our issues too. And as you can see behind me, there are many issues that demonstrators here feel need to be addressed. All the issues that are not being addressed with social inclusion, murder to missing Indigenous women, from 100% of the original people of this country are completely eliminated from the federal politics discourse, and it's a shame. It's another one of Canada's shame. Uh, there's huge issues in the housing, education, uh, cultural, social inclusion, and we need to sort of bring awareness to all of this. So yes, we're here in solidarity. First Nations issues aren't making too much of a headway or headlines as the, as the federal election approaches. It's a number of other things, and I think that uh, as the, most, the most we can do to start uh, creating awareness, the better. You know, so that's what this is all about today. Chief Gislain Picard of the Assembly of First Nations of Quebec and Labrador says that the message from the demonstration is to make clear to whichever party wins the election will be held accountable. To me, you know, uh, no more. Can we see a government turn away and say that our issues uh, can take a second or third place? I think they have to be addressed, and more importantly, we have we need a government that is willing to to hold that extent. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to end up uh, back on the streets and by you know by back making the same demands as we have done in, in the last uh, five six de decades, and that has to change. Uh. And whether or not any of those demands will be met is a question that won't be answered until after October. 19th. Lachlan Medill, First Nations TV.